okay so welcome back to this course so in our previous section we have added the all code related to the error handling and in this small section I want to add the API features like the pagination the search functionality and the filter functionality these three things are really important in every API that how we can basically apply the pagination because it is really important that we apply the pagination we only get limited amount of results so that our server don't get slow and also we reduce our time of fetching the data and we use the search functionality to definitely search our products that is obvious and we have to use the filter definitely to filter our products and we have to also use the filter on our front end so in this case we need all these functionalities okay so in this video first of all i am going to handle the search functionality and how we can handle this search uh, feature of this api okay so for that simply i'm going to create here uh, in utils i'm create a new going to create a new file here that is called api features api features dot js so in this api features i'm going to create a class so class api features that is basically uh, as a constructor in constructor we have two things first of all the query and then the query string so query is like the for example in this case product dot find uh, if i go to the product controller um uh, this product where it is product dot find is the query and whatever we pass in the query like products and we type here like keyword equals to uh, like apple so we can get this keyword using quest dot query dot keyword and this will give us this apple which is the keyword that we want to search in our api okay so i will show you later about it so constructor query and query string will simply type here this dot query will be equal to query and then this dot query string is equal to the query string okay so we are done with our constructor now let's create our first method here that is the search okay so i simply type here const keyword that we will pass basically this keyword okay so const keyword will be equal to i type here this dot query string dot keyword let me handle that first of all in my product controller so what i do is i simply import here um first of all the api features so const api features equals to require and dot dot slash utils slash the api features okay and then here first of all i'm going to create here at the top cons api features equal to a new api oops new api features and in the constructor we have to pass first of all the query which is the product dot find and then we have to pass the query string and again that we can get using the request dot query uh, oh we have to put this line uh, in here like this okay so have to pass here query which is this keyword so we can get it using request dot query dot keyword but we can get that keyword right there okay so we will simply remove it from here so i have to pass two things first of all product dot find and then the request dot query so now this dot query string will be equal to request dot query so request dot query dot keyword will basically give us apple in this case okay so now uh, this dot query string dot keyword and if that exists i'm going to use here ternary operator if that exists then i have to basically search in the uh, database for these products else i have to do nothing okay so i'm going to use ternary operator so if this keyword exists then i have to search it otherwise it is going to be an empty object okay so first of all i have to definitely search the product by its name okay 
so simply type here name name of the product and in here first i'm going to put here dollar sign i'm going to use the regex so regex it is going to be the this dot query string dot keyword definitely that we want to search this keyword in this name okay and after that i simply have to pass here some options so dollar options and i have to pass here only i so i means case insensitive like we don't have to search uh, the uh, keyword in the name that is case insensitive uh, that is case sensitive basically and if i type here K i that will be case insensitive okay now we can also use here like only we can pass this name uh, so this keyword directly in the find here but that is actually not uh, perfect for the search because I also want to search for example if user only pass A then I want to get all the product that has A in it alright so we can use Rajax here it is a good logic so now we have our keyword here if it exists then we have to uh, search it I'm just uh, put in here Rajax and then I simply have to search this keyword so I simply type here this dot query string uh, so this dot query is equal to this dot query dot find and I'll put in here the keyword okay and I simply return this okay and now let's also console this keyword to show you that what keyword actually is And if I press Ctrl S and go back here in the product controller, I can simply uh, type here dot search like this. Okay, so search it. We have called this function on this API features. And now rather than typing here this, I will simply type here a wait wait API features dot query that will return from here okay and all right let's test it out if i simply save it go back to my postman and get all products if i click on send from here i have here error api features is not a constructor let me first of all run it in the development mode and i'm run dev Okay, so now we go back and send it. So type error API features is not a constructor on one two. Oh, we also have to basically export this class. So export. Oh, sorry, module dot export. Module dot exports equals to the. Uh, not error handler that is api features now if i press ctrl s and go back click on send i will get all nine products here but if i type here keyword and i simply type here that will be apple if i click on send from here now you can see that i only get here three products if you can see that here so this is Apple AirPods, then we have the Apple MacBook Air, and then we have the Apple which is the food, alright, fruit. So you can see that it is working properly if I type here like chair mount, which is a product, chair mount, and click on search. Um, I think so, it is chair, it is chair mount. You can see that now we can get here this chart amount full motion tv wall mount so this is only one product so search functionality is properly working here if i go back to my here you can see that here that we are passing here the uh the keyword which contains name so name we have used the regex that will be apple and the option is i so we'll pass this complete object we separate it inside this find and it will find the product that has apple okay so it is working properly 
So now we have added the sums functionality. We are searching all the products with the keyword. And now in my next video, I want to basically add filter here. That if I want to filter the products, for example, I want to type here that keyword is equal to this and category is equal to food or category is equal to electronics. For example, if I type here Apple, keyword is equal to Apple, and I only want to get the laptops uh, with the Apple keyword. Okay, so I have to add also those filters. Okay, so I will do that in my next video.